I'm Pat Gunn, and this is the sixth episode of my Let's Play for Fallout 4. So since the last time uh, I did an episode, I've done a little bit more work on the uh, on the gas station settlement that we... Uh, Red Rocket tr uh, Truck Shop. Whoop. I apparently just accidentally fast traveled back to where I was. Anyhow, I've done some work on, on the area. I was a little bit tired of like the weird floatiness of uh, of the step up to the security station, so I built a little mini platform and then little stairs up to it. <clears throat> I uh, also, if you spot over here, I've used the uh, barn roofs to build a platform, uh, both for a ramp leading up to the roof of Red Rocket, which I'm not using yet, but probably in some future iteration. I'll come back and show you what I've uh, done with it once I've done something with it. But I've also put my crafting stations out here. They're not exactly safe, and I will eventually build some walls that will uh, that'll probably just enclose this area a little bit more. Uh, just to uh, either that or add some um, turrets. Just because it. If you're going to be crafting something, you'd ideally like to concentrate and having something run up and kill you while you're crafting stuff doesn't really make a lot of sense. I've cleaned up a little bit more in here. As you see, I've taken like the double workbench stuff out, and this is now kind of a grimy bedroom. I'll probably keep on transforming it into being more like a normal bedroom as time goes on, but for now, I'm just slowly turning... Uh, the place into being a little bit more human friendly. <clears throat> it's a pity that in the game you can't easily ask the settlers to clean up like junk. And also it's a, it's a bummer that you have to use roofs for this kind of rampy thing. I think it'd be neat if these were regular floor structures because that way you could hook walls to them and stuff. It's not that it bothers me that they're classified as roofs, it's more that you don't get the option of attaching walls to them quite so neatly. So for this episode, I have a few things lined up to do, because in past episodes, I was kind of just winging it, and sometimes that got a little bit boring. So because I'm spending more time out near the edge of... Uh, or I'm spending more time out near Red Rocket, Red Rocket actually has some, uh, some stuff going on uh, in that... Not too far from it, you'll find a an entrance to a cave. And I think it would make sense because we've actually built a structure here to explore the cave and to loot it and to do anything we can. But also, I think Codsworth wants hey. to talk. Can I be of service? Hey, Codsworth. Oh, Mom, perhaps now is a good time? Sure, Codsworth. What's up? Oh, just a little something I'd like to get off the old proverbial chest. I, I just want to say what an honor it is for me to accompany you. You've no idea the horror these past two centuries have wrought. The initial destruction. Not knowing if you and your family were all right. Uh, it was a relief just to find the entrance intact. I'm sorry, Codsworth. It was so sudden. Not even time for goodbyes. Not a single worry, Mum, as I shared your priorities completely. Family safety first, above all else. And yes, while it was hard at first, it was the work. I'm but gonna cut him off a little bit because this is a let's play. I soldiered on. Right. I'm glad you stuck around. Oh, Mum, you don't know how good it is to hear you say that. Mm -hmm. I just wanted you to know. Mm -hmm. I consider you to be family too, Carl. Mum, you don't mm -hmm. well. Enough blither blather. And one other thing that I'm gonna do which I probably should have done from the start, is to turn on uh, subtitles, because that will probably generally make things a little bit easier to see with the Let's Play. So we're going to go into a mole rat then, which is inside a cave that was under the old red rocket that was right around the corner from where we used to live. There were some hints of this in some of the paper documents. Or, no, I think uh, actually inside the computer. The computer had some dialogue that suggested this, but... I didn't really want to, uh... I do something to you! 
But I didn't really want to spend uh, Let's Play time. Farting around on the computer. Well, I mean, naturally I'm farting around on a computer, but... Farting around on a virtualized computer inside of a computer. Okay. So here, we've killed a whole bunch of, uh... A bunch of these kind of annoying, uh... Well, admittedly, the, the funny thing about, uh, about these guys, mole rats, is that they're actual real creatures and they're just about as ugly and weird in real life as they are in the game. Like, I, I, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't fully aware that they were. Okay, there's some pretty serious rats from... That thing. Grab the fusion core. We don't really have to use for fusion cores yet, but basically we're gonna just keep on grabbing everything that we can get when we're this near a settlement. Because any and all of this stuff is potentially useful for scrapping. Well, you notice the air is wavering. When the air is wavering, it means that if you fire, you're going to, cre uh, going to create a little bit of an explosion. Again, all this stuff is as uh, as scrapped uh, good material for what I'm going to be doing soon and elsewhere. Of course, we're desperately in need of if anything that's uh, adhesive. There, I accidentally started to drink the water, but fortunately, it's interruptible. It's it's a little bit annoying. I guess in general, when you're playing a game. It's tough for them to give you controls that are still powerful enough to do anything that you might want to do, but not so complicated that you're going to find it hard to use. And so there's compromises. And so there's no, like, cancel action button, which is what you would really want to do there. But just pulling up the menu and letting that cancel the action, that's good enough, even if it's a little bit silly. Okay. So I think that's probably all that we have here. Got some reasonably good loot. The danger was kind of low. Helps a little bit that I played the game uh, quite a lot before, so I knew what to expect. I think the first time I came down here, I, I was a little bit too excited. <clears throat> and I had a pretty bad experience. I think it w wasn't even remotely close to the first time that I'd been in the area. It's just I wasn't aware that there was anything at all there. Okay. You will drop off all the stuff. Um, hmm. So, 38, 38. Both of these do the same amount of damage. One of them is silent, which is kind of nice. Actually, though, I should just go and see if we have adhesive. Because that's, that's the thing that's going to let me do interesting stuff. Oh, we do. <laughs> so, do I want to spend that on the arms, or... Yeah, let's, let's do it on the arms. The other nice thing about this is that Cogsworth really seems to like it when you uh, do this kind of work. Actually... No. Uh, I, I, would, I thought those other things were decomposable, but apparently they're not. Drop off the glasses and the leathers. Uh, are we wearing sunglasses? Yes, we are. Okay, we don't need others. And we will just basically... We're just going to drop off our, our weapons for now. At some point later on in the game, we'll probably come back and do all sorts of interesting things with them, but not now. You might hear a cat uh, making some noise, because I have a cat and she's being kind of whiny right now. Not entirely sure why, 
but yeah, generally my strategy for like how much to carry, I'll keep maybe two of any uh, like performance enhan enhancing met because generally I'm uh, with the frequency that I tend to visit my settlements, two is is about the amount that I, I will at max use. Uh, okay. So we're down to 93 pounds. That's pretty decent. Not sure if I can craft anything. Maybe I should. I, there's a reasonable chance I'll be able to craft some small rat stuff from what I just got. Okay. So that's what's under the... Uh, under Red Pocket. Now, because I think in my last video I went and got the swimming skill, I'm gonna go put it to use. I don't remember if raiders get cleared eventually or not. I hope they do because they're kind of it's a little bit unsightly and definitely unsanitary to have uh, dead bodies lying not too far from where your people are living. Oh, okay, have a nice little gift. I'm imagining, yeah, I, if snipers or anything like that hang out here hoping to watch my people or to spy on them or to plan raids on them, I guess it serves them right to have lost some stuff. <clears throat> hoping that's not what's going on, but... We have kind of a backyard. Grab some stuff. If if that were not wild meat fruit, it would actually be pretty useful. And that meat fruit is one of the more efficient foods that you can have for counting against your item limit. Because each meat fruit uh, bush, I guess, uh, provides one food, and it. Uh, it costs uh, one item against your uh, item allowance. Okay, so now we're at the excavation site. And I'm going to do the kind of goofy thing of, now that I'm in range to have them fast travel, I'm going to fast travel right back there to get into the main entrance. I know it's it kind of breaks immersiveness, but uh, there's some silliness around there that can happen relating to poor object modeling. And it's kind of easy to accidentally, like, fall to your death while trying to descend uh, down there. So here we are at a mining operation. Some good stuff here. Nice. A little bit of free experience. I imagine desk fans, if they're still working, they're probably pretty uh, pretty useful in the post-apocalyptic world. And remember, this is a world without air conditioning, Go or at ahead. least by and large without air conditioning. The vast majority of people in the Commonwealth probably go their entire lives without ever even knowing what AC is. So they're probably uncomfortable and living a fairly unpleasant life all the time. Aluminium can and some other, yeah, not too much health. Let's see, maybe I can oh, get up over that. Excellent. Well, I don't tend to do facial tattoos, although maybe I'll do it with this character. It wouldn't hurt to do something different, particularly when I'm on film. I'm not sure if uh, I'm going to be doing the Let's Play for the entire life of this character, or um, or if I'll cut it off at some point to keep the character around. Hi. Looking to earn some cash? I could use a hand here if y'all don't die. What do you need help with? The pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. The leaks will be underwater. Sure. Okay, so he's given me a chore. It's not the most interesting of chores, but he basically wants some leaks uh, fixed, and they're 
uh, exposes bubbles. So let's do that. We can kind of see one leak there, one leak there, and uh, yeah. So this is a uh, a quarry. I'm quite sure where the other leak is. Oh, there. Sweet. You'll notice I'm not taking radiation. And they're not really leaks, actually. They're just somebody had a valve set at the wrong setting. But yeah, I'm not taking radiation damage. And I wouldn't actually need to worry about drowning, because this perk, as silly and unrealistic as it is, eliminates, uh, el eliminates both the need to breathe and uh, so was that last one? And it eliminates the radiation damage that otherwise would be hurting you if you were in water. But it was, yeah, it's right around here. Sweet. So, while we're down here, everything is actually too blurry to actually get much use out of. But because you have uh, this perk, this is kind of the one opportunity you have in the game to see this place to really see it and explore it while it's still flooded. And even though it's not super easy to, to look around and see that uh, stuff, it's uh, it's doable. Because later on, this, this place ends up being different. We'll come back and see it later. Oh, there's a little bit of a current here. Yeah, the water's kind of pulling you. That's a nice amount of realism, particularly for a game that doesn't uh, actually have you spend much time in the water. It's not a big part of your experience, and it's obviously pretty silly if I can do all this without any worry whatsoever of drowning. But we're going to keep on going down, scoop up what we can while we're uh, around here. This is the bottom of the lake. Not too much stuff going on down here because it is the bottom of the lake. Generally, most of the interesting things uh, would be theoretically fish, although Fallout doesn't really seem to have much in the way of fish. Hotworth actually seems to be willing to come into the water, which is a little worrying. It's probably not a great thing for robots, but... Yeah, for, for such a water minimalist game, okay, let's actually probably head up now because it's a little bit boring. Up we go. I don't remember if there's anything in here or not. I wonder how the quarry flooded. Rainfall, perhaps? Or maybe they dug right into a spring? Yeah, one of the things I, I really would love to see would be the ability to see all uh, all this world as it was before... Uh, before the uh, apocalypse. I mean, see more of it. You get to see a little bit of it at the beginning of the game, which is quite cool. Maybe if I close off this intake, I can get enough pressure. Meant to leave that rubbish where you found it. Nope. Hey there. That's a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Although this answers my long-standing curiosity. In past games, I never actually was paying enough attention to see see exactly where these uh, these things came from. Apparently they just pull right out of the ground. Okay, there is And as usual generally in the game if you can ooh, can hit things in the face, then when their face takes enough damage, they stagger. Which is a good way to survive, because if they're staggered, they 
integrated fully. Oh, uh, there he is. Hmm. What if I redirect the flow through here? Hi. My looks. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that stirred him up. Anyway, I still got some tinkering to do on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard now, though. Thanks for pitching in. Here's a little something before you clear out. Sweet. The 50 caps is not particularly great. It's probably... Might not even quite cover the ammo costs. But, on the other hand, you got some experience, and we got enough to level up in this whole encounter. So, let's see where we are. Two, three, we want to get log picking. That's perception four. I think we also wanted the ability to hack things, which is intelligence four. We can do that now. Um, we can't do scrapper for a while. So, let's do... Uh, do hacker. Okay. So, uh, so that's useful. And he is going to keep on doing whatever he was planning to do with this pump. And we can head off. In this case, we're actually going to hop back over to Red Rocket because we were scooping up quite a lot of uh, things. And we don't want to keep on looking them across the Commonwealth if we're ever going to hit that weight limit. Generally, in every game of Fallout I've played, like from 3 to New Vegas to 4, I've hit a point where I had some stuff which I really didn't want to stop carrying. But it was super, super slow to walk while carrying. And so I would just go through the very long, unpleasant process of walking really, really slowly to some place where I could drop it off. And that makes for extraordinarily poor uh, video. I'm hoping for this to be the first character that I have, or I never do that. Although if it does happen, I will probably just cut the video, do the walking, and then uh, pick up with the next video. But it's it's obviously better if I don't need to do that. Um, let's drop 308. I guess that's a unique weapon. Auto cap mines are a little bit overkill for anything I'll be facing soon. Okay. Uh, oh, always drop off. I always drop off uh, the irradiated food and most boozes because they're just not worth uh, carrying around. <clears throat> okay, so for the third item on our agenda for today is we're going to be going and doing a quest with the Brotherhood of Steel. And if I remember right, that quest involves a whole lot of good stuff that I'm going to want to carry. So I'm going to try and get my weight down even further. Just because um, I believe that this quest often involved, uh, involved a whole lot of carryables. Seeing if we can get this down further. Um, don't need so much of this, but you always want to carry some uh, some radex around. The right away is something which you pretty much always want to have, but fortunately, right away, it's extraordinarily light. And also, I'm pretty sure I won't need a stealth boy or a tarberry or some thistle, although those are also quite light. And maybe... Okay, so this is looking good. We've gotten our, our weight uh, considerably down. Oh, also, don't need 13 frag mines. Down to 70. So that, that'll give us um, 180 pounds to play with. So we will head back to the Brotherhood of Steel. sure what's the last video where we got involved in that uh, in their defense effort against the ghouls yep and you can see the bodies of the ghouls and the place where we had battle here. 
pretty sure we actually got everything that we needed while we were here. That's a bit of a bummer that they didn't actually clear the corpses, although there's very few of them. I mean, very few Brotherhood of Steel members, so it's not really a huge surprise. me up or what? I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. It might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> You're all heart, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. You can see the Brotherhood of Steel. They they chose pretty well uh, like what kind of base to do. Fortunately, they actually suggested you come here to provision, so gonna go grab some stuff, maybe a little bit more than I need to do fighting, but it's good to have some more resources. Whoa, hello. Yeah, I've been using, I guess, uh, money in this game is actually only useful as cloth. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. You ready to move out? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. Okay, we're going on a quest. We're going on a quest. Uh, it's easier to follow you when you're You moving. better get a move on. It's not a good idea to keep Pallet and Dance waiting. How's security looking? Are we going to be able to... It's amusing that the Brotherhood of Steel here actually is less capable of defending um, territory than you are. Like, the settlements that you that you build are likely to be a whole lot more secure. Well, the barricades here are actually quite good. We'll take this out. Follow me. But um, but they're not building turrets to actually automate the defense. Our jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. You can kind of see some people up ahead, I think. I don't mind if I grab some stuff from an explosive box. We may have to Like this is was a uh, surprise. Like it would make sense for the Brotherhood to do at least a little bit of scavenging. Uh, so this was a merchant. That's what happened here. Yeah, the caravan definitely did not do too well here, but. See how we're doing. Okay, so we picked up a right arm. Is our right arm any... Is it particularly special? Where is it? Oh, it's just a leather right arm. This is better. Okay. Always nice when you can just grab gear that's better than what you already have and not need to flex too much. This is a kind of riverside walk. Up we 
go. Seen me use meat very much, but it actually is uh, pretty uh, useful. And I probably just should be using it more. There it is, Arc Jet yeah. Systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security, so we'll head into the front. See, that's the thing where I, I find it a little bit surprising. Like, why would Dance conclude that there wouldn't be exterior security? I mean, presumably there's some kind of heuristic that he's using, but anyhow, it doesn't really matter. Is there anything else we need? No. Okay, off we go. Paladin dance. Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and by the book. Understood? Understood. Outstanding. Remember. Our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. We will do that. So in he goes. I turn off my light. Duck down so I'm being a little bit stealthy. Although in reality I suspect ducking down and moving it doesn't actually work. It probably doesn't actually work that well to be quiet. I mean there's tiptoeing but that's not really the same thing. It was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They yeah, exploited you know. technology for their own gain, pocketing the cash, and ignoring now, the This seems like a really bizarre place to keep machinery like that, because there's no entrance to it, unless it's just there for display, which it very well might be. as though the facility's automated security has already been dealt with. Military-grade circuit boards are quite useful in the game for a whole lot of things. Let's see if there's anything here that we can do. not actually any securitrons to activate. But we're gonna pull out our guns and see what we can do. So I almost think this is like a janitor's closet, but uh, given that it has a bathroom that'd be a little bit weird in the Rex. It appears as though the facility's automated security has already been dealt with. Good. Less secure. Negative. There's nothing. Look at the evidence. These robots were assault. Sent. Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. That's it. That's something which strikes me as a really weird attitude in the, uh, in the game, but I guess... I mean, it's realistic in the sense that people often have very complicated opinions, but it's not one that I really understand particularly well. Like, why the, uh, the Brotherhood would this be place is a mess, but I still see so a selective of salvage in what technology is After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. I mean, I guess in general, if you if you Looks like actually there. believe that you can find like a way technology to get that door destroyed the world, then the you might be kind of selective too. But but actually knowing like how they're being selective, like what are the ideas that guide their selection, it's never really explained. 
Okay, we got a password from there. But there it is, ashtray. Ceramics are another one of those things that early in the game you might Sunny not have enough of. Days. Ouvrier le port. You hear that? Not getting past me. Oop. Here, my target has serious disappearance. Oh, very nice. I was about to get hit, and then just at the very last minute. So that's our first enc encounter with Sense. It's these weird robot -y dudes. Is someone present? Hostile sensor readers. Oh, yeah, seems pretty happy to do that stuff. I'll go join him in a minute. I give you guys a visit. Sweet. We got a fair number of Institute pistols. And a weapons bench. Some stuff. So nice thing about this is that we can break down a little bit of the uh, stuff that we have, which makes it uh, lighter to carry. are also quite uh, valuable. You can leave that uh, focus rifle alone for now because I might actually want to use it as well. Oh, I missed uh, these things. Damn synths have compromised most of the system. Although at this point I have enough bobby pins that I really, I'm never really going to worry about yes. uh, about them again. Okay. Keep on scooping uh, good stuff up. Adhesive is super, super useful at this point in the game, so it's great to have a bit of a supply of it for now. I'm guessing that whatever comes next is not up here. Dance, where did you go? Oh, I guess I did not actually provide fire support for him. Excellent. Sweet. I don't remember ever reading this before. Something about a Mars trip. That's well, pretty cool. Okay. 
assure you. Very nice. That's probably what that fire pipe was about. They want to keep our weapon ready when we're uh, exploring. Just like this, just in case. Sad, this level of technology more stuff. Is like a lost art. Still more stuff. Pretty sure I've actually never really, really explored this place very much. Foul. Okay, shares one word, one letter in common. Evil is possible. No. So it's it shares a letter in common with F and O and Q. Going would be possible. Nope, and unfortunately you kind of, you only get so many tries and you kind of have to reset to avoid getting locked out permanently. Shares nothing in common with time. Earl is Got maybe it. it. Okay. Yep. Nothing important here. Okay. It's a little detour from actually paying attention to dance, but I don't want to leave any possibly useful salvage alone because I probably don't want to come back. Bones, which are actually useful as for, for fertilizer for some reason. There's probably some reason for that that I'm not particularly aware of. I really probably should have uh, come back to visit here in past games because there's quite a lot of good loot in here. Let's see if I can get by that. I can. Elevator. Probably a super, super convoluted way to get to where I need to go. Oh, me. Won't be able to pick this. Well, maybe not so neat. This is why it would be nice to have better rank of lockpick because there's probably some stuff in there that is decent loot, but not quite decent enough to be worth coming back for. Okay. Engine course ahead. Should be our final stop. There is dance. Now, let's get rid of some radiation and improve our health a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. There we go. Firstly, I just want to miss break point there. This is another mysterious room that there's no apparent entrance. There's some machinery with controls in it. Who would actually build something like that? Look at this place. Oh, wow, this is interesting. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevator's dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now, and find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. So... This is probably a pretty terrible place, actually, to uh, to just uh, sit and wait, at least at the bottom of the stairs, because somebody could A, drop the grenades in, or B, just peek over the edge and spot him without him spotting uh, them. Bingo. This is a super goofy, goofy weapon. 
one that I pretty much don't use, although maybe I should use just because it is so hilarious. Yeah. Basically, you just load garbage into it and it shoots that garbage at very, uh, very high velocities. I wonder, I might have gone over my weight limit. That might that have been blocked for a reason. Yeah, okay, I have, so... <laughs> oh, shoot, have I not transferred... Well, no, it looks like I'm still doing okay. Um, I probably should empty Codsworth's uh, inventory the next chance I, I get. I'm all in. But I was able to pop off enough that, uh, that I'm not moving slowly. Hunt. Zero letters in common with hunt. Uh, no. Oh, this, this is probably the only answer. I'm in. Yep. And here we've turned power back now. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. And even four. Here I'm being kind of naughty. Three. And I'm going to do an engine Two. test while Pallet advances in there. One. Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of ninety six point seven. Hey, see if he had anything worth taking. I'm pretty sure that actually taking all this stuff Grab would anything uh, useful. put me over my weight limit. So I'm going to use that trick and get Cosworth to carry everything. Check it out. See if there's anything there. Today I've had kind of one of those weird Take bizarre feelings good. of dealing with like half remembered dreams and, and it feels like absolutely everything reminds me heads up of uh grab that of that dream which is almost certainly completely artificial go check that out get that get that pistol my pleasure okay so i think we've probably got yeah, well, to lift this everything up exciting. And oh my god! Are you alright? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Yeah, there's absolutely no way that a human would survive that, even with, like... Like, his face is exposed. It might be possible if his face were not exposed, if, there, if he had, like, a head plate or something like that, but... As is, it's just ridiculous that he would survive that. Also, there's no way that he would fit in the elevator here with me, but... Going up. up we go. There's this weird thing where... If somebody doesn't manage to get onto an elevator with you and you just move around inside the elevator, usually it kind of summons them in there, Hold but up. not in this case. You must be terminated. Okay, so now they're gone. 
can do our search. See what we can find. This place is definitely not been thoroughly looted. But that is okay. Let's get out. So there is our we'll transfer. Take the service we'll elevator to the surface. First, we're going to make sure that we have everything because we do not intend to come back here. I think no foes respawn in this area, making it a very, very boring place to revisit. to avoid getting overburdened too. So up we go. Going up. And now somehow the game managed to pack both of them into the elevator optically. And he teleported out. Totally makes sense. I mean I think it looks clear. Let's move out. In reality there's no way that you would want to uh, be packed in, into an elevator with somebody wearing that. Get some more goodies on our way out. The shovel. Having a problem. This guy probably did. Uh, probably should shut himself, but no. Heads up. Let's see if we can off offload a little bit more this guy yes we can but not much more but it was enough to bring us under sweet paladin well that could have gone smoother but mission accomplished i thought we worked well as agreed it's a uh -huh. that being said first and foremost if you, i think you'll find this weapon you may it serve you well Sweet. So we got a laser weapon. Thank you. You're welcome, civilian. Now, as far mm -hmm. we had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in business. Uh -huh. There's no doubt in my mind. Sure. The way I see it, you could spend the rest of the war. So, what do you say? I'd be honored to join. Surely with their resources. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station and we'll discuss the details. No, no, we're not making a very permanent commitment to do that. But look alive. But accepting the rifle from uh, when I put us over again. Uh, looks like we're not able to drop off enough. I guess we can leave. What can we leave? We, we have two pounds to lose here. This always seems to happen. Well, let's first pick uh, our perk. Gun knock might be next level. We know that we would like to be able to pick box, so but we need to get our perception up a little bit higher to be even have the choice of taking that perk. So we'll do that, and then I think next level we will consider taking lock pick. But we are still above our weight limit. So what can we lose to get under it? And ideally, we'd want to drop things that have a low, uh, have a poor weight to cost ratio. And also maybe things that weigh a lot might be nice because we don't want to spend quite a long time figuring out what to drop. Ramen hide, I think that that is probably going to be our thing to drop. We'll even see if Cod's work. Look alive. Pick that up. That. Oh, yeah. He was able to grab it. And now I will fast travel. Back to Red Rocket. And I think that this is going to conclude our uh, Let's Play for, uh, for today. We've done three kind of interesting things and we've gotten a whole bunch of good resources. I might or might not do some improvements to 
uh, to Red Rocket while I'm uh, here before we head out. But I, I think it's working well to figure out what I'm going to do, or at least have a few uh, ideas before I do one of these videos, so it's not quite so off the cuff. So, uh, that, uh, that'll be all. Um, I will see you next time with episode uh, 7 of my Let's Play of Fallout 4. Bye!